done the hard work, now let's make it worthwhile for you. Because there's at least one person in this room that says, I had a great idea before, but they won't finance it for me. They won't approve it. They is, you know, is it a boss? Is it someone else? Whatever is it, because to solve this issue that you've identified, this opportunity to reduce a risk, you need a project financed internally. And what would, can you do? You think, I really don't know why the last one I did, I can't understand why they didn't give me that million dollars. Why did they give it to Joe or Susan? <clears throat> That's because you don't know the secret language, but you're going to learn today. Let's keep it simple. It's eight steps I'm going to show you, but don't get hung up on the numbers. Here's the gist of it. The language changes as you move up the ladder. Think of where you started off and where you are today. The people above you that control the purse strings, write those checks, they think numbers, return on investment, capital expenditures. So answer these eight questions on one page, the short memo on why the long memo is needed, and you're going to increase the likelihood of getting financed. Number one, what's your great idea? You've got that. Done. That was easy. Number two, why should anyone care? Number three, when will you start doing something with it? What's the first thing you're going to do? Whose help do you need? Money, time, references, and again, these are one sentence answers. Again, you've got to have the executive summary. And the other issue is going to be the point people are going to look at and say, uh, what is it going to look like when you, when you solve this issue? How do we know you did it? When are you going to be done? And the best one, because this is the fiscal doctor after all. What is the benefit for the company for giving you that million, a million dollars? That's right, we gave you the million dollars. We want our million dollars back really quick, with more money, no risk, and to be very comfortable it's going to happen. Now, you address these eight points, and why, is it, why does it matter? And here's why. If you miss one of those eight points, it's like, uh, you know, I, I don't know. They really don't seem to be up to snuff on these things. Mm, should I throw it in the trash can or think about it? You miss two, it's like, uh, I really wonder if they're a keeper. I mean, you know, they evidently just don't know how to work around, you know, in an organization like us. Get those eight points alone in a one page, the short memo or the long memo, you're going to see some dramatic increases, the clients have helped, on getting things funded. There's always one person who says, okay, Gary, can you make it better? Here's how you do that. You look at the competition. You'd use a slide, and here's the two things you get. And again, I can show you this in more detail if we do a full webinar or speech on it. The idea is how much money is involved, a little to a lot, and what is the likelihood this risk will occur or the opportunity? You put it in four quadrants. Who would be surprised if, as a reasonably good consultant, my clients tell me, the secret answer is up in that upper right quadrant. Big bucks, high likelihood. So position yourself, because the million dollars you wanted, he wants two million and she wants half a million. If you know what, how sort of you stand, you've increased your likelihood. And someone says, make it a little better, please, Gary, because, you know, last time it didn't get funded. What we're going to do on that is we're going to say, same chart again, look at it from two ways. What are the resources the company has? On a scale of 1 to 10, 1 says, we don't think we have any money. We might cover payroll next week. 10 was when I was there in the luggage business. We were making so much money, it was almost impossible not to have money available. The mental attitude of the people who control those checkbooks. Are they in hunker down mode? You know, we're waiting just what's happening or what we're going to grow. Look at that. And what you've now done is you've said, what is the mindset of the people who are going to make that decision? And to the extent that you can meet their needs, you've now increased the likelihood that you'll get your million dollars this time. 